Hey everyone, I'm Nisse and I'm from Denmark and today I'm gonna share my thoughts on Hiram Selfless skincare and I really I wasn't sure if I was going to because we all know and we all love Hiram if you don't know him and don't love him yet I will share his um, channel below so you can go and see what he's doing but he's been a skin influencer for years and now this summer he came out with his own line and it's called Silkless by Hiram and I obviously didn't buy it all because I have specific need for my skin and I have sensitive skin I have combination too really dry it's mostly just my chin and in here I'm oily Otherwise, I'm just dry and I'm dehydrated all over my face. So I wasn't sure if I was going to buy any of it. But then I went to the Dr. Lee YouTube channel and saw their review on them. And they said, if you have sensitive skin, this is what you're going for. And it's the Mandelic Acid Rice Bran. Next up is the Mandelic Acid and Rice Bran Serum. So mandelic acid is one of my favorite exfoliating acids because it's one of the largest molecule alpha hydroxy acids, which means that it doesn't penetrate as deeply into the skin as other exfoliating acids, which means that it causes less irritation than a lot of other exfoliating acids. So this is gonna be a great ingredient for somebody who has sensitive skin. I really do wish that more brands would use mandelic acid as an exfoliating acid because it is so gentle for those people that do have sensitive skin. Now the Ordinary does have, I think, a 10% mandelic acid that's reasonably priced, but a lot of my other favorite mandelic acid products are actually quite expensive. So it's good to find one at a more reasonable price point. So what other supporting ingredients does this one have? It has gluconolactone, which is a polyhydroxy acid that we also talked about. Doesn't penetrate as deeply into the skin and is also a great exfoliant for someone who has sensitive skin. And this one has salicylic acid and niacinamide, and we talked about the benefits of those uh, with the earlier products. So this one is probably going to be best for somebody who has combination or drier skin or more sensitive skin. So if you're going to choose between these two and you have sensitive skin, I would go with this one. I really like the way he put it up. Uh, I will also share that video below so you can go and check it out for yourself. As Hiram said, he made all of these kind of weak which both can be positive and negative so if you really got intensive breakout it's not enough but it's it's weak enough that you can use it every single day or in every other day where many kinds of exfoliation you should only use once maybe twice a week some people skin can really take a beating and they can do it every single day with a really tough one but with these they are made for us which skin just won't take it as well and it also sits on the front gentle exfoliating serum and then there's a moon that, which means you should use it in the evening which i really like it's really dummy proof you should know um any kind of exfoliation do it at night please do and make sure to wear sunscreen the next day because exfoliation removes the top layer of thin skin. It's not supposed to remove healthy living skin, but the thin skin cells on our face, it's hopefully gonna remove, and a tougher exfoliator would do it more effectively. That's also why you won't do it every day, because we don't want it to get down to our normal skin. Excellently, I was just going to say, well, Hiram probably knows what he does because I'm a fan and I love him. And it does exfoliate my skin. I've been using it for a month, I think. I bought, I bought it right away and it just took a few days to arrive. I couldn't buy it in Denmark from Sephora, which really, thank you Hiram for doing that. Uh, a lot of skincare I need to get sent from the US, from England, from Germany. I should be able to try, but this I could just get it in Sephora. And then you probably think, well, it's in Sephora. So of course, if you, when you have Sephora, you can get it. But when I go to Sephora.dk, which is the Danish website and Sephora.com, there's a massive difference in which brand I can get 
the Danish side, I don't think there are any Danish brand on there, which I actually think is a shame because we got kind of good skincare brands in Denmark. I really think it's sad that there are Danish websites which don't have all of the brands the American, the English one have that when you saw then on the Danish website you don't have Danish brands. But of course I can buy them anywhere else in Denmark so I can't get them. But back to this. I've been using it every other day and I figured out that wasn't strong enough for me. So instead now I use it one day, take a day off, one day again, take a day off. And then I use a stronger exfoliator and then I wait uh, three, five days before starting again with this. And it helps me more. I will say I haven't been breaking out for this uh, more than usual. Uh, actually, my breakout has been more apart. When I started using this, I was just like one big sit all around here. And it, this have really helped me. But I have one main issue and that is I'm dehydrated and this is water. I'm gonna show you. It's suppo You're supposed to take just a few drops and then put it on your face. So, I'm gonna take. And I really like that it has this normal dropper, but when I do this, then it's gone. It's literally gone in my hands. I don't have any anything left. But going up here, I would like to also get it down here. I can't do that because it's already soaked into my hands and to my face. So what I thought I should do is it's already have water in it. So I take my hand and just this is terminal water. You can use normal water. You could also use um, I would be careful with just tap water because some somewhere uh, you have really much what is it called cat in Danish I would put the word over here I can't remember what it's called in the English but be careful if you have too much cat in the water because then your hot water is really hot and you don't want that to affect the product so I just gonna spray water in my hands there and just a few, few drops and then I can really have the time to get it all over my face is this the perfect solution? absolutely not I would actually rather have that you made one of these for dehydrated skin which have more water and then you can say yeah but we want to pay for the active ingredients we don't want to pay for water yeah but then double the size more water and just a few bucks more i would rather have that and then i can use it on my face i really think it's really sad the first times i used it i couldn't get it all around my face and it actually made me break out more and it also made my skin more sensitive so really i think it's it's really an issue for me that i have to blend it in with water to make sure i have enough for my face also because i'm not sure if this of course by watering it down the formula wouldn't be as intense as, as it would have been else but besides that i really like the product I really think it's done good things for my skin, especially up here. Uh, when I started using the, the these, I had a lot up here. Again, I had extremely many up here, down here, but it have not been magical. It haven't done. Wow, I'm sit free. My skin is so clean though. now. It haven't done that, but. For someone like me who have sensitive skin and my skin don't like an exfoliator which just, you know, these where you have them on for 10 minutes and it's intensive and you wash them off. They are too intensive for my skin. So 
Vital Dark Chick, I love it, but my dehydrated skin, don't like it. So I will keep using it definitely because I think it does do good things for my skin. I've been using it for a month and it doesn't seem like it's it's empty at all so i will keep using it to till it's empty but i'm just not sure i'm gonna buy it again i want, want something that's more tailored to my skin but i do like that hiram kept in mind that a lot of us have sensitive skin and it's without any perfume i'm not against fragrance in skincare i always just do the smell test if it i i can't take the smell i don't use it if i think it's nice and i try it do i react then i throw it out otherwise it's, it's good so if you don't have dehydrated skin i think this and again i only tried this one from the line um i do use a lot of makeup and i do use a healthy amount of sunscreen so for me i don't didn't want to try their cleanser because i'm finally found something that i can double cleanse with without breaking out so i didn't want to try new stuff and i i'm not into that you know every time this comes something new out we have tried the entire line i don't think it's a good thing because then my sensitive skin would definitely break out if I had tried all of these at once not because of the products but only because my skin don't like that my skin needs comfort my skin needs safety my skin needs to feel like it's home with all of its friends that visit it daily it's not like to of course, it's okay with having one new friend once in a while, but I can just bring an, every single new friend in I can find because my skin just don't like that. So it's good. It works. If you have massive breakouts, it won't do wonders. I don't regret buying it. And unless I found something I really want to try when this is done, then I probably gonna try it again if the price is i actually think its price is real good in danish it's 189 danish crowns again price up here if you're not danish and i really think that's okay uh, for what it does the price really fits it's not a miracle so i don't want to pay too much for it but again I can easily find something worse for double the uh, price easy. So if you're on a budget and you want something that works without working too much, then this re it really is the solution. So that's all for me today. I really hope you learned something. And if you like this video, don't be afraid to show it below. And if you want to see more of this pretty face then you should really go and check out my instagram it's nissy pillerson where i put this pretty face up a lot and a bit of my cats and just what i'm up to uh, and if you want to see more videos for me don't be afraid to subscribe i do a bit of skincare i do a bit of makeup i do a little nails and whatever i can put my mind to <laughs> some weird stuff sometimes so again Selfless by Hiram, Mandelic Acid and Rice Brand. I would link this below and have a good day. Bye!